Okay, so then we move to apparel, apparel and textile, yeah. page industries, yeah. right? Here I try to put it again in the per consumption thing, yeah. but going more by, uh, so you have on this axis, you have textile spending per capita. All right. And here the CAGR. Okay. So low per capita, uh, wherever the countries have low per capita spending, mm. growth should is. have a higher growth rate. Yeah. So you should see some kind of a right. line which goes like this. Right? Yeah. Should be. Yeah. So India is in that uh, 500, between 0 and 500 dollar per capita spending. Right. And is showing a 10% kind of a CAGR, mm. something like that. Mm. Uh, this big, big thing is just China anyway. So now, uh, so USA, for example, if you look, has got a $1,500 and yeah. it's hardly growing, 0%. Okay. And in fact, some other countries like UK, Germany and all are declining. Right. Not only is it saturated, they're consuming less. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. Then the decline. Okay. So clearly opportunity is for countries with low per yeah. capita consumption of fabric, yeah. Yeah. of textiles. Yeah. Uh, they are going to grow more. Right. And India is there. It's there, yeah. yeah. They have tried to also color code it with yeah. risk and all risk, that. Yeah. yeah. Now, this, this thing, that first picture basically was to show that India domestic market is going to be good. Uh -huh. This picture is trying to show what the export market for textiles, because textiles, unlike cement and Nestle, what we saw, hmm. both are Indian. They are selling in India, right, yeah. primarily. Nestle yeah. is a foreign company. They are yeah. selling in India. Yeah. And cement also, we are only looking at Indian market. Yes. These companies aren't exporting. Yes. We are not competitive to export actually. Right. But apparel we are is interesting because yeah. we have a mix of domestic sales and exports. And exports. Yeah. So we have to see both. Yeah. IT is mostly exports. So yeah. We will see that. Okay. Yeah. So we are moving to export. Yeah. But this one is a mix. Okay. So this picture, this chart is more to show what the export picture looks like, okay. for which we are trying to look at the global apparel consumption country world, world, worldwide. Right? Okay. So, we can see basically, oh, I mean, this also is domestic only. Yeah. So, you are, you are seeing basically that uh, India today is consuming 4% 4%. of the total textile. Yeah. Expected in 2025 to go to 6%. Okay. So, India again as a domestic market is going to be interesting. Yeah. But of course, China also is interesting. Yeah. But you see the advanced markets like Japan is decreasing. Yeah. EU. EU is decreasing dramatically. Even yeah. US is going down. Yeah. So, India domestic consumption of textiles is going to decrease. This chart yeah. again is saying that only. Right. right. Now, this one. Trade. Shows the global global textile and apparel trade worldwide okay uh, from 500 billion dollars it's going to go to a trillion dollars in yeah. 2025 according to this yeah un com trade com and trade. Yeah. analysis okay. yeah so uh, fiber fabric home textiles apparel yarn and others this so is the raw material yeah so you can have raw material like yeah. yarn you can sell the yarn yeah you can sell the fabric yeah or you can sell the fiber, right. you can sell the fabric, <coughs> or you can yeah. make finished product and yeah. sell. And that is exactly what we were discussing the other day. From fiber to apparel is a value addition. Value addition. So that is where the product. In fact, I have a chart which shows the value addition. Yeah. So we can see that there. Yeah. Niti Ayok chart is there. Right. But you can see basically that the general apparel, apparel is, is what is yeah. the one. So finished product is what the yeah. major growth is going yes. to come from. All the others are more or less stable and right. static. Right. And you will see also when I show you that India is not very competitive. Apparel. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's a problem. Okay. Which is why our so we used to be after China, we used to be number two at some point in time. Okay. Recently, yeah. the last two, three years, yeah. Vietnam and Bangladesh have overtaken India. Oh yes. Yes. Okay. That's the discussion now. Ha. And yeah. the surprising thing is Germany. I'm you really not expect Germany. About Germany. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. not expect that Germany yeah. would be a clothing yeah. company. Yeah. Yeah. But they are. So 34% uh, of the share today is uh, China. Okay. And India has only 4% uh, share of the world market. So, that's, that's phenomenal, GV. Yeah. 34% of the global textile uh, apparel trade. trade is China. By China. 34%. Is China. More than one third is by yeah. China. Yeah. Look at the numbers that we are talking about. So, one sixth of the world population is China. So, yeah. that accounts for one sixth. Yeah. So, which is 16%. Yeah. The remaining 18% is all export. Yeah. Phenomenal. And, yeah. Phenomenal. Yeah. And we aren't even fully meeting our own yeah. domestic yeah. needs. We are importing from Bangladesh, actually. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We are a net importer of textiles when you yeah. look at it from uh, yeah. this thing, right? Yeah. So we are getting low cost clothing from Bangladesh and selling it. To right. People. Yeah. So that is where we are. Very, very yeah. telling numbers, actually. Telling numbers, yeah. right? Yeah. So this chart uh, shows uh, increasing consolidation of global sourcing. So you can see basically that this where are the textiles are coming from. Okay. It used to come. Quite a lot of it used to come from these uh, advanced countries. Yeah. 
that is reducing. So if you yeah. see 35 plus 5, 40, 45, 49. Yeah. It's coming just from China, India, Bangladesh, Vietnam. Okay. So clearly, China is, has been a leader, but if you see the share of China, it's been coming down yeah. recently. Yeah. Uh, of course, between 1995 and 2018, China yeah. has increased. Huge jump. But if you look last two, three years, yeah. China has been coming down. Yeah. And the share of Vietnam, Vietnam Bangladesh, and, and Bangladesh and Sri Lanka is also increasing. Sri Lanka so, this, this is basically where the global big brands are sourcing, sourcing their, their products. textiles from. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, Indian apparel industry is expected to be about $226 billion in 2023. Okay. Yeah. And that's how this chart yeah. says. It's been growing. Yeah. Okay. Now, <clears throat> World this then. chart yeah. essentially tries to look at what is it that customers are buying. Okay. And what is it that India is selling? Okay. We are trying to see the two. Yeah. Strategic fit. Yeah. Right? What yeah. we try to do, photos, five forces, yeah. all these forces. Yeah, yeah. So, what are people buying? What yeah. is India making and selling? Yeah. Demand and supply, is there a mismatch or a mismatch match? match? Okay. So, if you see the world, basic, this is a code. Yeah. This is a classification code. Right? Yeah. This is code. Yeah. You have already introduced. Yeah. So, cotton t-shirts yeah. basically is uh, $30 billion of global exports. 1.78% of India's but India is only, it's only representing 1.78% of India's exports. Okay. But it's actually a 30, 30 billion dollar industry, cotton t-shirts. Okay. Okay. Mm. India's share of global exports is 6% here. Okay. So, we are doing okay. In cotton t-shirts. <coughs> cotton products generally. Yeah. You see actually. Cotton yeah. t-shirts, cotton products. Yeah. Men's trousers, 1%, yeah. 26 billion dollars. Jerseys, MMF stands for man man-made fiber. Fibers. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Rayon and yeah, uh, kind of yeah. polyester. Fiber. Polyester. Yeah. So, 25.58 billion dollars, yeah. but 0.2 percent. Yeah, yeah. That's China is much more yeah. competitive. Cotton fiber, we are doing very well. We are yeah. selling fiber. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, that's not a value addition. Not very high value addition. Yeah. They are doing a good business. Yeah. And similarly, cotton shirts, yeah. they are doing very well. Yeah. But man-made fiber, little less. Yeah. Uh, brass, brassiers, uh, 1%. 1%. 2%. Woven fabric, yeah. only 2%. Made of polyester. Yeah. Blouses made of man-made fiber, 7%. Yeah. So, this is, so you see cotton t-shirts, men's trousers, cotton jerseys of MMF, cotton fiber. These are the top lines, the okay. top items. Yeah. Now, if you see what is the top 10 exported commodities from India, uh -huh. it's cotton fiber, yeah. t-shirts of cotton, combined yeah. yarn of cotton, yeah. toilet and kitchen linen of cotton, okay. bedspreads, textile yarn of polyesters. So, MMF is down the list. Ah. So, we are not very strong in man-made man fibers. fibers. Okay. The synthetics, yeah. and, you know, yeah. weaving of synthetics, yeah. and even wool and all those things, yeah. we are not as competitive. Yeah. And it is cotton that we still have. Cotton is yeah. where we have an edge. Yeah. Right? Um, so, this chart from Niti Aayog actually is pretty interesting because it shows what you said. The value chain. The value chain. Okay. So, you start with raw material, the ginning. Ginning is basically taking out from yeah. cotton the fiber. Yeah. Then you put the fiber into spinning, spinning and you yeah. make it into thread. Yeah. And then you weave it into cloth. Right. And then you process it into yeah. apparel. Right. So, so you have basically these kind of raw materials which yeah. you make fiber, yarn. Fabric. Then you make fabric and then you process it into okay. apparel, and they make garments. Yeah. Now, we are not competitive in this. Okay. Eating and thing. Okay. Right. Because of total scale. Okay. Right. Yeah. And more of this old type looms, yeah. shuttle the, looms. The technology used in production, production is still not the state of art yeah. in that. So, not productive, right? Yeah. Efficiencies issues are there. Yeah. So, we are not very competitive, which is why the China has been doing very well. And okay. Now, Bangladesh, Vietnam is doing very well because yeah. they are moving into this. Yeah. We are more competitive here. And that's why fiber and yarn, yarn, our exports are yeah. very high. Right. That's what the numbers showed yeah. actually. Okay. Right. That's very interesting. Yeah. yeah.